this is exciting. This is the most people we've ever had on. Wow, I better be good. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. No pressure at all. Right, shall we, um, shall we get cracking? Um, yes. It's still climbing to almost 100. Wow, wow, we were. Right. Amazing, amazing. Um, right, we'll, we'll just crack on. Oh, that's uh, the guard dog. Good girl. Nothing, some sprats. Hashtag not sponsored. Um, <laughs> <laughs> can't sort out. Right, okay, let's get those out of the way. And I'll keep her down here with me. Okay, right. So apart from that lovely little intro, um, hello, thank you so much for joining us, everyone. Um, got over 100 people on here right now, um, which is amazing. I am Amy. I am the Head of Marketing, PR and Communications at Pets Pajamas. And um, for those of you that don't know who Pets Pajamas are, we are the number one dog friendly travel destination. Um, we have a team of pet concierge who will find and book you your perfect pet getaway and we we offer trips from all over the uk for all breeds and all budgets um, we are very very lucky to be joined today by emma hammett um, emma is the owner of the award-winning first aid for pets.net where you can find many online resources and courses Emma's been really, really generous and she's offering us an exclusive discount for um, visitors of this webinar. So just stay up until the end. It's going to be about 15, 20 minutes and we'll give you the code. So I'd say that's enough from me. I'm going to hand over to Emma and I'm going to mute myself just in case Lemmy starts barking again. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Lemmy. Um, yeah, thank you, Amy. And um, yeah, honoured to be with, on Pets Pajamas. Uh, what an amazing company you are. So um, very pleased to be working, working with you or being on this. So choking. It is really common for dogs to choke, um, frighteningly common. So uh, really important that you know how to help them because you could be in the middle of the park and miles from your nearest vet. And if you know what to do, 99 times out of 100, you can help them and sort it all out yourself. So first of all, think about what you're feeding your pet and what you're doing with your pet and what you're encouraging. Just like um, with us sort of throwing things up and catching them in the back of our mouths, it makes it more likely that we might choke. The same for your pet. So when you're encouraging them to jump for treats, it is possible. If they were, you know, barking as they were doing it, then you're opening your airway differently as you are grabbing the food. So it can make and put them more at risk. Likewise, we all love throwing a ball or throwing a stick for them. Um, if they're trying to jump and catch it, it is quite possible that it ends up getting stuck. And they love doing things and getting hold of things. I mean, I've heard of dogs choking on socks, on all sorts of stuff. Things like rawhide are really tough. Please don't give your, your dog rawhide. It's, it's, a, it's pesky and not easy to, to help them if they're, if they're choking on that. And likewise, avoid um, cooked um, chicken bones and things. We all know about that, but they get very brittle and they can cause, cause um, damage and, and really hurt them. So if you suspect your dog um, is choking, they could be pouring at their mouth. They're likely to be quiet because if they're still barking or making a noise, then their airway is still clear. So sound is good, but it means that it's not, they're not completely blocked. Their airway is not blocked. If you suspect that they are choking, um, so they are really struggling to breathe and they're looking you know, really uncomfortable. They may be pacing. Um, if you can, uh, try and open their mouth and see if there's something obvious. Now, sometimes that's easier with two people rather than one. And I know pet lovers hate me saying this, but please don't put yourself at risk. Please watch your fingers. Please be careful how you're putting them in. Uh, human safety does take priority and people 
absolutely hate me saying that, but it, unfortunately it is true. If you're injured, you won't be able to help them. So your priority is to help them as quickly as possible whilst keeping yourself safe. So you can open the mouth. If you have access to something you could grab it with, if there's something stuck, then do. And please don't be tempted to finger sweep round and see what you can prod because you will make things worse. So finger and thumb or a pair of tweezers or forceps if you have something to hand like that. Um, and then straight in if there's anything obvious. And just be sure you're grabbing stuff that looks like obvious food or something that is stuck because you know unless you're looking down your dog's throat on a regular basis you could end up grabbing something that is still bits of dog so you don't want to injure them or hurt them if there isn't anything obvious then the next thing you're trying to do is to get gravity to help so ideally you would be putting them upside down so for a smaller dog you would hold them firmly by their thighs. So not by their legs, because that's a bit tough and a bit, you could dislocate their, their um, legs. So hold them firmly by their buttocks and thighs, upside down, and a gentle shake, literally to just try and get it out. And you may well find that that will work. And sometimes people like to give them a gentle pat as well while they're doing that. You are trying to get that obstruction out. For a big dog, it's obviously a lot harder. So for a big dog, you want to use them a bit like a wheelbarrow. So you would be behind them, again, holding their back thighs and putting them on their front, front paws so that they are nose down. And again, encouraging whatever is stuck to come out. If it doesn't come out when you're doing that, your next step is the dog or the pet equivalent of the abdominal thrust or a Heimlich maneuver. So very similar to what you would do for a human if the back rows haven't worked. For a pet, you would do, you'd make a fist and you'd put it in that natural dip at the back where their chest finishes and they've got that dip. Um, then you can probably see here, we're talking that dip. So you're putting your fist in like that. So you put a fist up like that and over like that and then you would pull up and under. And I don't know if you saw that, but I was actually ex <laughs> extruding. This is a choking vest he's wearing. So I was demonstrating how the obstruction did actually come out. And the same on your little one. So you make a fist, you put the thumb towards them, you have them over like that, the other hand round and you pull in and up like that. So an obstruction um, is out. Okay, so you would do that first. And if that hasn't come out, you do five of those. If it doesn't come out, you're back to that. You get somebody to phone the vet. And if it's not coming out, you get ready to get your pet to the vet as quickly as possible. If they start to go floppy and lose consciousness, you need to be ready to give CPR. Emma, sorry just yeah. to interrupt you there. We've just had a question in from Laura Walker. And she yeah. said, is that dip the same for all long-bodied breeds, such as Dachshunds as well? Yes, they should have the same. Have a, have a feel on, on your Dachshund. And they should have the same element where their ribs finish and there is a natural gap before their back, their back leg starts. That's where you want to be. Because what you're doing is pulling in and up and they're, you're treating them like bellows. So, so when you're doing that, you are pulling up and under and pushing the air out and pushing the obstruction out. Brilliant, she says thank you. <laughs> Pleasure. Um, that is pretty much it. So if they, if they don't, 
um, if, if it doesn't come out, uh, you'll need to get to the vet. If it does come out, I would always get them checked by the vet. And obviously if they are bleeding, or if they're still having trouble breathing, or they're coughing strangely, um, you should get them checked. If they seem absolutely fine, they probably are. <laughs> so if you've managed to get it out, particularly if you haven't had to do abdominal thrusts, because you're, you've got far more room to do damage whilst you're doing that, exactly the same with human choking. So if you've just had to position them upside down and do a bit of shaking and out it comes and then they go rushing off and go and eat it again, then um, they are probably fine. Lovely. And um, Alison Benton's just asked, um, can I ask, do you need a cushion to do that? A cushion? Yeah, to perform that manoeuvre there with your... No. Phone. No. But it, no. Am I, I'm right in thinking that that's just for demonstration purposes. Oh, this cushion, this isn't a cushion. This is a choking aid that they're wearing. So this this isn't a cushion. You would not need a cushion or, or anything. This is this is a choking vest for me to demonstrate. Um, so you would you would literally be doing if I if I take this off. Um, so I can I can demonstrate. This is this is again what we do when we teach human first aid as well. Um, that's a that's a choking vest that the children would wear to learn how to do it. But you've got your natural dip here. You make a fist like this and you pull up and under, but you don't get the same demonstration without the vest on. So no, exactly the same for both of them. This, this, what they're wearing is just, just to demonstrate. So if you're in the middle of the park and you have just you, that's all you need. Perfect. And um, we're getting quite a few people asking to, um, to demonstrate the methods again what i'm going to say is i'm going to send this video around to everyone so you can mm -hmm. keep this and you can replay it all right absolutely we've also got um got a, a detailed video with with lovely boo um our boxer which ex explains exactly what to do and on my website i've got um these i don't know if you can see which are step-by-step -step instructions how to help a, a choking dog if anyone wants to email me or email you i'm very happy to to send this out so that they can they can have a copy of this because it just takes you through as a step-by-step -step what to do if if your pet's choking perfect we'll um if people can hang on to the end and then we'll um give your email address that'd be amazing that, that's great so lovely to see you <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So is there anything else on, on dogs choking um, that we need to know about? It is incredibly common. Um, the faster you can act, also the calmer you are. I know you might feel panicked, but the more panicked you feel, they will pick up on it very easily. And if you can imagine that they're having trouble breathing because they're choking, if they are picking up on your stress, then it will make it, it even worse and harder for them. Yeah. So easier said than done, but the calmer you are and certainly having the knowledge to help will make a big difference. So stay calm, let them trust that you are able to help them and then you should have a much better chance that they will make a full recovery. Amazing, amazing. That's great. Um, what I'm going to say, uh, Gemma Nahas, we, uh, we have done a CPR already. Um, we've got a video on that, but also over um, on Emma's website. Emma, do you want to give the details for your website, my love, and then people can... Yeah, certainly. So, so I've got a free people. first day for choking course and a free first day a dog CPR course on firstdayforpets.net. So that will take you through in a much calmer, better planned way. When we showed the dog CPR last time, I had my dog CPR mannequin. So I was able to show exactly how you breathe into the nose. And I think you'll, Amy, I think you'll post that again, won't you? Yeah. So that they yeah. can access both, both bits together. Okay. But there are free courses on firstdayforpets.net that you're most welcome to take. Um, if you have a look on First Day for Pets, um, it comes under free resources. So just click on, click on that and 
Um, it's also got uh, essential first aid tips that all pet owners should know, which is a, an ebook we've got. There's lots of things on there that you might find useful and you're, you're most welcome to access. But you'd, you'd, I think you'd learn much better than me trying to demonstrate on, on this rather than the proper CPR mannequin. Oh, you've done a great job there. Um, <laughs> so with the, the free resources, um, what I will say to, to everyone watching is, you know, you've got some incredible, some other resources on there that are paid for. Um, Emma has offered very, very generously um, to give viewers of this webinar 25 to 5 percent discount um, if you head over to firstaidforpets.net and um, just quote code pets pajamas p-e-t-s-p-y-j-a-m-a-s -A -A all lowercase and uh, you've got a really comprehensive first aid for pets course there that will cover cpr choking drowning head and spinal injuries bleeding burns seizures um, it will take you about six hours to complete. You can stop and start as often as you like. Um, it's compatible with all devices and you have full access for an entire year. It's amazing. It's such a, a, a complete peace of mind. Um, I can't recommend it enough. Um, and also, if you're not already following um, Emma, then go over to at First April Life on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, and if you have got any questions, then um, post them over to Emma or at the Pets Pyjamas. Emma, what's your email address, my love? Uh, probably best to send it to emma at firstaidforlife.org.uk. That's F-O-R life. So first aid, I, think, I don't know if you can see there. <laughs> firstaidforlife.org.uk. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. So nice to see you again. Yes, you too. And thank you to everyone who's joined us. Um, we'll be putting the videos up on social. I'll be emailing them out. And also I'll pop an email out to everyone tomorrow as well. Um, and we'll just remind you about the offer as well. So I'll pop Emma's email address on there as well, if you're right with that, Emma. Um, yeah, I'd love to. Case. Um, but everyone stay safe and we will see you soon.